Okay, that was the challenge of y'all. We're ready? gonna take it on. We're gonna take it on to Jen. You ready, DJ? Yeah. Drop that. Drop that for Jen. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, see? I really don't know what you're doing. He got a Kobe Bryant jersey on, but look more like, like a light skinned Patrick Ewing. I'm nice with it when I'm spitting. Come on, in a week or so, I'll be spitting on the Swiss beats. While you'll be at the bodega asking for Swiss cheese. I'm nice with it, freestyle. Come on, you wanna talk about guns? That's why you get your stutter on. Only toasty pack is the kind you put butter on. I'm nice with it when I'm free. Come on, yo, yo, check it out. Ask your girl. I was doing something in the house. Matter of fact, she had my egg roll and my dumplings in her mouth. Next time you see her, bring extra protection. 曾经在纽约靠攀山打败无数的对手，不分民族 ，MC j 是有史以来最强的战神之一。更何况他是在嘻哈圈首位出名亚洲 rapper。除了说唱以外，嘻哈下也演过好莱坞的电影。现在去跟中国一流饶舌歌手决一雌雄，真是挺有意思的。但在纽约走红以前，嘻哈侠最早是在迈阿密佛罗里达州长大。我们来看一下他的童年是如何过的。But once upon a time, before there was a Chinese kid who raps, there was this young man right here in the middle, scooter riding, bright neon shirt wearing.、Uh, that's my mother and father, kind of flanking me. And、uh, this is where I grew up, inside that little Chinese restaurant that you see behind us. That was the first one.、Uh, we opened a few actually, but I have to say, not necessarily successfully.、Um, open one, close another one. Open one, close another one. So,、um, for what my mom and dad had in terms of passion, just that good old-fashioned hard work and grit,、uh, maybe what they lacked was, you know, business acumen. And I say that lovingly, because I, I I know for a fact it wasn't necessarily a lack of hard work or work ethic or anything of that nature. So they instilled a lot of that in me. So when I you know kind of realized that I had this passion for hip hop,、um, I just took the appropriate steps that I thought were appropriate. So at the time, you know, pre YouTube, pre Twitter, pre social media as a whole, I I hit the ground running. So you know,、um, by the time I was 16 or so, 16, 17 years old, I knew that this is what I wanted to pursue. So I went to the open mics, I did demo tapes, and、um, one thing I did a lot of was battling, like what I showed you earlier, and that was my way of like earning stripes, right? But unfortunately, things just you know it, it was a slow crawl, and I think that's the whole purpose, right? And、um, at the same time, my personal world, you know, in terms of my family, the restaurant, school, all these things were kind of just colliding with each other, and I guess a milestone moment.、Uh, Although it was a relatively negative milestone moment, was after I graduated high school,、um, around the time that 9/11 happened. Actually, my、uh, family lost their final restaurant, the third one, and with that, even in more epic proportions, we also lost our home. So this is something very vivid to me: showing up at home and、um, seeing that tape across the door, violators. You know, uh, 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 trespassers will be violated and, and so forth. And I'm like, I have a key though. Right, but that key means nothing when that tape is across the door. So, because of those circumstances, my mom and dad decided to move to New York, and that's where、um, I ended up going,、uh, for family reasons, but also to further pursue my rap career. And、uh, yeah, the month after 9/11 is when I moved to、um, New York,、uh, October, and、uh, hit the ground running, and then ended up doing more rap battles, which ultimately landed me a record deal with Rough Riders. You know, they mentioned it earlier.、Uh, label mates. Here I am with DMX, Eve. Mind blowing to me, because I grew up a huge Rough Rider fan, still am to this day, and、um, it was. I think this is a key point of my journey. 根据中国有嘻哈第四期的预兆，观众都以为 Hip Hop Man 早于淘汰，没想到节目效果做得那么凶，千万别忘记跟狗哥道歉哦。嘻哈侠确实走了一条很长的路，从迈阿密的小中式餐厅，到纽约的大型唱片公司，但中间经过的高高低低，幸亏到头来都值得。但后来 ，One O Six in Park 的战神在 Rough Riders 发展的怎么样呢？我下次再告诉你。When we return to 嘻哈侠是谁？